Hello, my name is Snowden McFall and I want to talk to you about your dreams. I'm a five-time author and professional speaker and I've worked with thousands of people over the last 20 years helping them be successful and make their dreams come true. Today I want to talk to you about dream stealers. Those are the myths and the limiting beliefs that we tell ourselves that hold us back from having what we truly want. To get the maximum value from this exercise, it'd be helpful to have a piece of paper, just so you can jot down some notes for yourself. Anything that I say in this list of myths that resonates with you, that goes, yep, I believe that one, or makes your stomach go thud, is a myth or a limiting belief that holds power over you. See if any of these myths resonate with you and maybe stop you from your dreams. Here is a series of statements that have myths inside of them. People who make their dreams come true have lots of money. People who make their dreams come true have lots of free time. People who make their dreams come true have lots of connections. They know the right people. People who make their dreams come true are free financially. People who make their dreams come true are very well educated. They all have master's degrees or above. People who make their dreams come true always are fearless. People who make their dreams come true are very confident. People who make their dreams come true are healthy. People who make their dreams come true are young. People who make their dreams come true are old. People who make their dreams come true don't have families, don't have responsibilities, don't have bills to pay. People who make their dreams come true have lots of energy. People who make their dreams come true are selfish. People who make their dreams come true have their acts together, know exactly what they want. People who, have, who make their dreams come true have all the right connections. And you probably have a bunch of other myths inside of yourself that you tell yourself, uh, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy of having my dreams come true. Maybe someday I'll get there. My children's needs are more important. My husband's needs are more important. My wife's needs are more important. Um, it's not the right time for me. There's all these limiting beliefs and myths that we all operate with. And they're all nonsense. What you want to do is stop the internal programming from limiting you. And one of the first ways you do that is you get crystal clear on what those things are. So if you have any sense of what your dream might be, of what it is you truly want to do that will fulfill your heart and that you know you can touch lives and you can have the kind of joy and success that you want in your life. Another way to do this would be to sit with a good friend and have that friend take notes while you're talking and you talk about that dream. And you talk about what it is that you want to do. And, and then you notice what comes up as buts. Like, I'd like to be a world famous soccer player, but, and you might have a series of different things, like you're not healthy enough or you're too old or you don't have great soccer knowledge or whatever it is. All those different limitations, all the buts, I want your friend to take notes on. And again, it's another way for you to gain awareness about what it is that stops you, what dream stealers get in the way. Because the greater awareness you have and greater knowledge you have about what stops you, the sooner you can take action on it. So once you have compiled your list from various different exercises, activities, and different projects where you've been really thinking about what stops you, I want you to make a concise list of what those are. And then I want you to draw a great big X through that list because we don't want those things to have power anymore. What you focus on manifests. Where your attention goes, grows. So I want you to focus on what you can do instead of what you can't do. I want to focus on the things that are true of you. So the antidote to the myths is to make a list of your successes. The things that you actually have achieved in your life so far. Getting through school is a major accomplishment. If you do have a family, that's a major accomplishment. Whatever job you have, whatever savings you have, whatever accolades or awards or achievements you've gotten, 
just getting through survival sometimes is a critical skill. I know I grew up in a violent alcoholic family. So having broken from that family and become healthy after doing lots of work on myself feels like a big success. Start training yourself to focus on your competencies. Uh, there's a great book, Now Discover Your Strengths, and also another one called The Strengths Finder. Focus in on your strengths, what you can do, and don't let the dream stealers stop you. If you'd like more information about how to make your dreams come true, join me on a free teleseminar that I'm hosting at www.firedupnow.com slash dreams. Again, firedupnow.com slash dreams. Hope to see you there.